Who are we and why? King Arthur came a lot, didn't he? I... I... Um, who are you? Along the way, I'll be shouting at helicopters! If gravity's real, as you seem to be claiming, I just imagine something like this orange, and then imagine it's not there. Then do that one by one with everything that exists until there's nothing at all. And also, walking somewhere impressive with my mouth shut, while my voice speaks anyway, like I'm talking aloud in my own head. Before Snapchat, Hills were the most efficient way to distribute dick pics to a wide audience. My mate Paul told me this joke about this bloke in prison who wore a bib round his backside. And that story went places I wasn't prepared for. Like, not even funny, just disturbing. And when I looked up, Paul was crying. <laughs> I'll be starting sentences in one location and finishing them in another. The king sailor turning the, the steering wheel thing. Are stones made of rock or are rocks made of stone? They're also wonderful books with lots of opportunities for, for humour. Are we talking about Jane Austen or Mr Men? Um, gosh, that's a... That's, that's, that's a a tricky question in the sense that there are definitely degrees of... Dinosaurs came in many flavours, just like kettle chips. Mad explosion. It was probably deafening, although luckily ears didn't exist yet. A seagull up that, uh, pole thing. This tyrannical sawdust rex is the only real dinosaur left in the world. As well as boring, these are also shit by today's standards. But back then they were cutting edge because they had a cutting edge. The Romans invented roads. Before roads was invented, you got to travel around by standing at the edge of your village and seeing how far you could jump. But you never see horses drawing anything these days, do you? When did they lose the ability to draw? Is it when their hands sort of turned into hooves? There's disagreement about how old the Sir Nabas giant actually is especially since he's still young enough to get wood. The reason we find it as archaeologists is that we go out and we dig it up. Oh. Computers think it looked like this, although eyes also didn't exist back then either, so we can't be sure. But do we know if he came a lot? Or, like, just the same as an average man? Like, about a tablespoon? She ruled for nine glorious days. Almost a week. Which is your favourite? Of the kingdoms. No, of One Direction. Uh, I don't have one. Yeah, very wise. Ah, <laughs> uh, gosh. What's the mo- He had six wives, all called Catherine. He was a catherine -a -holic, or Catholic for short. Despite the spoiler in its title, Oliver's twist doesn't have a twist at the end. Which, come to think of it, is a brilliant twist in itself. That's how clever Dickings was. Yeah. So it wasn't a ship that evolved into a dog? Certainly not. It's just like being there, but in wool. Did an explorer ever try to sail into the sky? You know, find a bit of sea that's sort of going up and... Someone reading a treasure map through a telescope? When are they going to translate Jane Austen's books into proper English? You know, from, like, ancient English? Because they're sort of hard to concentrate on, aren't they, now that we've got, like, forms and stuff? Refer to it as being their family name later on. Sorry, I had that thing, you know, where you just, your brain stops listening. It was political. So, so I, 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 I... If Shelley's one of the greatest poets in English literature, how come nobody gives a shit about him today? That's a complicated question. For centuries of millennia, man lived outdoors hunting deer and nuts. Then one day, it must have rained, and man discovered a new place, indoors. His head's off. He'll be furious about that. It's Will I Am Shakespeare. No one knew what Wally and Willis looked like until 1995, when Hollywood scientists discovered he looked exactly like Mel Gibson. Can we free the people living in this book? Well, they don't live in the book. But it's... their souls are inside the book thought that he probably slept with his sister and with most other women in England. He was your favourite? Yeah, 
The one who slept with his sister. Well, he thought, I mean, I... Who was the Witchfinder General? The Witchfinder General was a young man called Matthew Hopkins. Matthew Hopkins? He went to my school. And then there are other things that are not... the sort of halfway, I guess, but, um... I, I can't... I genuinely... Some goose monsters in the sky looking down. The names of Dicking's most famous works are still familiar today. Nicholas Nickelback, Great Defecations, David's Copperfield, The Picnic Papers, and his masterpiece, Oliver's Twist. On maps of the sea, do they show the hills? You know, the little moving hills with the white bit on top? The waves. Who was Ron? It was hard to tell that this infant would grow up to be queen because her crown hadn't yet formed. It was just hair, which must have been a relief to her mother as she was pushing her out. So that is Bomol. I think that's its Bomol. It's a sobering thought, which they'd have needed because they were all pissed to the bollocks on rum. So chances are anyone seeing a bum would have had a stroke. Um. William Godwin was quite wrong. He believed that there should be no laws at all in society. No, who's Ron? Ron? Uh, is there a Ron? Yeah, the one that wrote all the poems and signed them by Ron. If it wasn't for the suffragettes, I probably wouldn't be standing here now. I'd be in a kitchen where I belong. What power's a mirror? Sorry, you're not the mirror's expert, are you? I'm afraid not. Maybe one day, human beings won't need buildings anymore. For that to happen, we'd probably need to evolve skins made of bricks. And that might take at least another 30 years.